you know the score. A maximum of 22 cars in a race these days on Gran Turismo. It just depends how many online races want to take part. But it wasn't always quite like this. For years, in fact, you had far fewer participants to race with. Go back in time by two decades to 1997 and you find out that only six cars made up the grid on the first ever Gran Turismo game. And this format stuck with the series for longer than we're perhaps likely to remember. On the sequel, Gran Turismo 2, it was the same story. Even though we got updated cars, graphics and courses, the number of cars in a race stayed the same. And what about Gran Turismo 3? Surely the jump to a more advanced console, the PlayStation 2, would mean the capabilities to race against more cars. Still just six. Gran Turismo 4? Yeah, you get it by now. Gran Turismo offers six car races and that's our lot. We're just going to have to deal with it. But no, Gran Turismo 5 would more than double the grid size to 16 cars, only 13 years after the first game in the series first launched. But what if I told you that the original Gran Turismo actually had the capacity for an 8 car race? Well, you may not believe me, but it's absolutely true. Well, to be precise, this is the earliest demo of Gran Turismo ever released, Gran Turismo Test Drive. And when using cheat codes, you can force the game to load an 8 car race, rather than the standard 6 car grid. You might expect the frame rate to suffer and the game to become slower, but it's actually pretty stable. The frame rate does drop by a couple of frames every now and then, but it's more than playable. Much better than, say, Driver 2, for instance. Aside from the frame rate dropping ever so slightly, there are a couple of other weird things that happen when you force the game to load 8 cars. The cars starting in 7th and 8th places on the grid, and also one of the other cars, will have a weird, shadowy look about them, like they're in a night race or something. You also can't force the game to load any different cars to race against with this method. The extra cars that load will be duplicates of other cars already in the race, so you could potentially end up having three or even four of the same car on the grid. Another odd thing is that the player's position in the race, in the top left hand corner of the screen, actually goes beyond the maximum of 6th position to 7th and 8th. Also, the player will still start in 6th position on the grid. If you choose not to qualify, the game will usually make you start in last place. However, it won't actually take the extra two cars into consideration here. The 8 car race was a discovery made by a YouTuber called Encounter GTR, who experimented with cheat codes originally made by Hackzilla of GameHacking.org. The code he created allows you to choose the number of opponents you face in a race, originally going from 1 to 6 cars on the grid. Eight car races seem to work on every track, or at least all the ones I've tried so far, so every course has enough starting places for all eight cars. It works with all kinds of cars too, from normal cars to racing modified ones. And if you're wondering about the gold Toyota MR2 here, this was a colour that only existed on Gran Turismo Test Drive, and was replaced as early as the second demo, Gran Turismo Trial version, probably because it wasn't a colour scheme offered by Toyota on the MR2 in real life. You might also spot the Savannah RX-7 with the green front bumper here, which was also a beta colour scheme. In fact, I've covered all the beta racing modifications in a separate video, showcasing cars on both demos. You can find a link to this video in the description. The 8 car grid even works on night tracks too, such as Clubman Route 5 which is shown here with the Mazda MX-5, where the shadowy effect on some of the cars is actually less noticeable due to the dark conditions. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back with some more little known facts about our childhood favourite games very soon.